Hi, Shiro here, and today I'm just going to show you a time-lapse video of me finishing the web novel cover illustration that was commissioned to me last week that I unfortunately wasn't able to finish on stream that day. I actually planned on continuing this uh, the following day. However, after that stream, I felt really tired, and so I thought, okay, I'll go to bed after I take some rest. If I still feel tired for the rest of the day, I'll just ask the client for extension and then do this uh, the next day, which was Friday. And so after a few hours of sleep, I woke up. I still feel quite tired. So I'm like, okay, Friday it is. I'll just do this the next day. And then Friday came along and we had a power outage, <laughs> which lasted until Saturday late afternoon. And so I was able to resume, I was only able to resume work on this illustration last Sunday. And I decided not to stream this uh, for two reasons. Uh, first was because I was uh, working on this on and off during the day. I would work for like 40 to 45 minutes and then take 15 minutes rest. Uh, play some video games, then get back to work, then work again for 40 to 45 minutes again, then another rest, read some manga, eat some snacks, and then go get back to work again. And that's what I did for the for the entirety of the day, just so that I won't get burnt out for uh, drawing for long periods of time until I get this illustration done. And the second reason is that uh, I watched all my previous streams and I noticed that uh, when I get past the one hour mark, I just start to get so immersed in what I'm doing that I just draw in silence for the rest of the stream. And I find that a little boring, even for me, when I watched my previous streams, the VODs. Uh, I find it kind of boring. Especially when I was working on the line arts uh, in the in the fan animation stream that I did and even in the uh, cover illustration when I was doing the line arts, it was just like I worked on the line arts for like two hours, almost two hours, I think, or more than two hours. Still, when I watched it, uh, it was just two hours of just nothing. <laughs> <laughs> nothing going on because basically when I when I'm doing the line arts I'm just tracing the drawing tracing the sketch and there's really no fun in it you know and that's what I noticed and I think the fun parts of like drawing and animating is in the sketching phase because uh, for me you can see how uh, the animation is being like made from scratch and so is the drawing you can see how how I post the characters, uh, which character goes where, and how I post the characters, uh, how I come up with the layouts, where, where the title goes, how the camera moves, and things like that. And so I thought if I finish the illustration on stream, do the base colors, and it, it would still feel a little bit boring, or how should I say it, less interesting to watch. And so for the past couple of weeks now, uh, even before I did the illustration stream last week, I've been thinking of what kind of content format would work for my channel uh, for the time being. And from watching my previous streams, I learned that uh, long streams really doesn't work for both me as the creator and the audience. Because after I get past the one hour mark when, I, when I'm drawing, not only do I work in silence, I also start to get tired and that also contributes to the silence part of the stream uh, it might work if I'm playing games when I'm playing games but for drawing and animation streams and videos probably not and uh, one thing that I want is to make uh, the drawing process a little bit more interesting and a little bit entertaining to watch and I felt that I didn't really I wasn't really able to do that in my past streams and again, with this a learning process, I'm still trying to figure out what kind of content works, what kind of format works. So, for the meantime, uh, I will just stick to pre-edited videos. If I do drawing or animation streams, I will completely skip 
the line art. I am going to do the sketch, the rough animations, if it is an animation stream. And then for the line art part, the colors, base colors and whatnot, I'll just do a time lapse video of that. And then post it separately. Like what I'm doing with this illustration. And I think that would work better. Uh, I'll be able to show how an animation or how a drawing is done from scratch. And then all the boring bits would be condensed in a time lapse video. And for now, I'll stick with that kind of format. I may just have to do it during my days off. So like while I'm resting for the rest of the day, my PC is just rendering and focused only on rendering. And I think that could work, I think. <laughs> and we are almost at the end of the video. We are also almost done with the illustration. Just a few finishing touches and I'm done. And we're done. And this is the finished illustration. I still did a few tweaks and finishing touches before I sent it. But this is the overall look for this cover. And again, if you like this kind of content, like the uh, behind the scenes time lapse video, just let me know. Drop a comment, drop a like, subscribe to the channel. And if you're feeling a little bit generous, uh, you can support the channel through Buy Me a Coffee. The link is in the description. And yeah, thank you for watching the video, listening to my commentary, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take good care of yourselves and have a great day. Oops, I forgot. To-do list, to-do list. Uh, shadows, highlights, patterns on the mask, finishing touches, and done. Haha. <laughs>